Hallelujah. Well, go ahead and open your Bible if you would to the the Gospel of Luke. Aga kui sul on Bibel kaasas teese pool on lahti Luuke evangeeliumi 6. peadukest. Luke chapter 6. Luuke evangeelium 6. peadukest. And we're going to get here in just a moment. Ja kohe läheme selle juurde. But today is our second part on a series I I've called You Cannot Do It. Aga täna on meil teine osa seeris, mille nimeks me oleme pannud, et sa ei saa seda teha. Say that, say I cannot do it. Ütle, ma ei saa seda teha. You ma cannot saa seda do teha. it, right? And so why, why would we say that? Miks me ütleme niimoodi? Why would we, we try to declare something so negative in church? I thought church was supposed to be positive. Miks me ütleks või tunnistaks midagi niivõrd negatiivselt koguduses? Me oleme ikkagi isti positiivne kogudus. Because what I want you to get out of this series over the next few weeks together on this sest mida ma tahan, et sa saaksid kätte selle järgnevate nädalate jooksul selles seerias is that you know that this is not about you. On see, et sa saaksid aru sellest, et kogu see maailm ei keerle ainult sinu ümber. This is not about you. Kõik asjad ei, ei, ei ole ainult sinu jaoks, sinu pärast. And our lives and our worth do not come from who we are. Ja meie elud ja meie väärtus kuidagi ei tule sellest, kes meie oleme. Our lives and our worth come from us reflecting Jesus Christ. Meie elud, meie väärtus tuleb sellest, et meie peegeldame Jeesus ja tema, tema väärtus. And I do believe the Bible when the Bible tells us that we can do anything. Ja ma usun, kui Biibel ütleb, et me suudame teha ükskõik mida või suudame teha kõike, siis ma usun seda. But I also believe that we can do anything through Christ. Aga ma usun ka, et me võime teha kõike läbi Kristuse. Not in our own ability. Mitte kuidagi ise enda oskusest või 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 know about you, but a lot of times I feel so inadequate to do anything. Aga ma ei tea, kuidas on sinuga, aga vahest ma tunnen, et ma nagu ei kvalifitseeru tegema mõnikad asju. Like I gotta go to my car and I'm like, I don't know anything about a car. Et kui ma lähen kuidagi oma autot, üritan putida, siis ma mõtlen, et ma ei tea mitte midagi sellest autost. If it doesn't start when I push the button, then I don't know what to do. Et kui mina lähen autos, või et on nuppu, auto käima ei lähe, siis ma ei oska mitte midagi teha. I don't know anything about a computer. Ma ei tea mitte midagi arvutitust. If something happens on the computer, I don't know what to do. Kui ma võitan navrutil nuppu ja arvuti käima ei lähe, ma ei tea, mida teha. And all these things that you have to do now with all the... the connections and social media I don't know how to do any of that. Ja kõik igasugused kuidas sotsiaal meediat kasutada kõik see ma ei oska seda teha. And so there's so much in life that I look at I'm just like uh, what am I doing? Ja tead elus on väga palju asju mille peal ma vaatan ja mõtlen ma ei suuda seda teha ja ma ei saagi seda teha ja ma ei ta seda. It doesn't go just exactly like I know how it should go then then I'm a mess. Ja kui asi ei ole nagu lihtsaks tehtud puuste punaseks minu minu ees siis ma ma mõtlen et ma ei saa saagi selle hakkama. And then I look at at at, at my my ability to teach the bible. Ja siis kui ma vaatan oma äh, selle peale kuidas ma suudan äh, rääkida Jumala sõnast. And I look at myself and I say who am I to tell everybody else what to do with ja siis, their life. Ja siis ma vaatan enda peale ja mõtlen et kes ole mina et rääkida mingi tervele grupile inimestele Jumalast ja kuidas oma elus teha. And I start realizing more and more all the things of my life that, that in myself I'm not qualified at all. Ja ise enne, sest kui ma vaatan enda ja enda elu peale, siis ma näen, et ma ei kvalifitseeru paljudeks asjadeks. And to be a husband and to be a leader and ja et olla abikaasa või et olla mingisugune juht. It's too much stress. On liiga palju stressi. Hey, I, I, if I stop and think about it too long, I, you know, I won't sleep at night. Kui ma peatun ja hakkan liiga sügavalt mõtlema mõnikedest asjadest, ma ei jää üsel magamagi. And then I've got to be somebody's friend and I got to be a happy guy and all this. I'm like stress. Ja siis ma pean olema inimestele sõbraks ja, ja siis ma pean olema kohe rõõmus ja, ja see, tead, see paneb ka stressi peale. But once I realize that it's not me. Aga kui, kui ma ei, ei saa aru sellest, et tead, see asi ei, ei olegi minus, see ei ole minust. That, that God is going to be the one to help. It helps us to do what we have to do. Et kui me mõistame, et Jumal on see, kes aitab meil teha neid asju, siis, siis see võtab nii, niivõrd suure koormuse meilalt ära. And so my point through this series is going to be this. Minu kogu, kõige suurem punkt tärve selle seeria peale. You cannot do it alone. On see, et sa ei suuda seda teha või sa ei saa seda teha üksinda. You cannot do it alone. Sa ei saa seda teha üksinda. You need help. Sul on vaja abi. You need the power of God. Sul on vaja Jumala väge. You need his presence in your life. Sul on vaja Jumala ligiolu enda elu. You can't be happy every day with your own ability. Sa ei suuda ise enda võimekusest olla iga päev täiesti rõõmus kogu you aeg. You can't be satisfied with every day just what you do. Sa ei saa kogu aeg ja 24/7 olla rahul sellega mida sina teed. How many you know that 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 when you just look at yourself you're never satisfied. This never the job's never done. Nüüd veel teavad et kui sa vaatad peeglisse või vaatad enda peale siis mõtled kuule mida kunagi sa ei saa rahul on. <laughs> it's never done. Et kunagi see töö ei ole lõpu, lõpule viidud. You can clean your house, but you got to start cleaning it again. Näiteks hakkad maja oma kodu koristama, ja kodukorda jälle maja hakkad koristama. You wash the dishes, you got to wash them again. 
Pesad nõud puhtaks ühe korra ja siis on jälle meid vaja pesta. Right? You, you take a shower and make yourself all beautiful and a few hours later you don't look like you took a shower. <laughs> ja dusi alla ja, ja teed endale meigi ja paari tunni pärast ei oleks nagu tunne, et nagu saaks üldse dusi alla käima. And we gotta do it all again. Ja siis on vaja uuesti teha nii. And so this, if it's all about us, we are, we're gonna disappoint ourselves time and time again. <laughs> Kui me ainult keskindume endale ja sellest, millis me ei oleme ja mida me teeme, siis me pidevalt petuksime. Because it's never gonna be enough. Sest me ise enne, sest ei ole kunagi piisavalt. But we need his help. Aga meil on vaja Jumal abi. And when I have his help, I can get happy and stay happy. Ja kui meil on tema abi, siis ma võin olla rõõmus ja ma võin püsivalt jääda rõõmsaks. Because it's not about me, it's about him. Sest asi ei ole minust, vaid asi on Jumalas. I can be satisfied with life. Ma võin olla eluga rahul. Because it's not about me, it's about him. Sest asi ei ole minust, vaid asi on Jumalas. Amen. Amen. I can have have peace in my heart. Mul võib rahu olla südames. Not because I've got everything just the way I want it. Mitte sellepärast, et asjad on täpselt nii nagu ma tahan, et nad oleks. But because he gives me peace. Mitte sellepärast, et Jumal annab mulle rahu. And so I can't do this without him. Nii et mina ei saa neid asju teha ilma temat. And we know it is Jesus Christ who gives us the ability to be a success in life. Ja me teame, et Jeesus on see, kes, kes annab meile selle võima, võimekuse olla edukas elus. And so we need to plant ourselves in the kingdom of God and we need to serve. Ja see tõttu meil on ka vaja istutada ennast Jumala kuningriiki ja teenida. Amen. Amen. Plant yourself in the kingdom. Istuta ennast Jumala kuningriigis. You're not being buried in the kingdom. You're being planted in the kingdom. Sind mitte ei maeta Jumala kuningriigi, vaid sind istutatakse. You're not, you're not dead. Et sa ei ole surnud. You're being kuidagi. transformed like a seed. Maid sind muudetakse ja vormitakse nagu seemet. You're growing. You're producing. Sa kasvad ja sa ka toodad vilja. Because we're not buried in church. This is not a dead church. Ja teat, kogudus ei meid ei maeta. See ei ole sõrnud kogudus kuidagi. This Amen. is a living church. Ma on elav kogudus. And we're planted here to live. Ja me oleme siia istutatud selleks, et elada. And so we do our part for Jesus. Ja me anname enda osa Jeesuse jaoks. And then he is going to show up in supernatural ways. Ja tema saab ilmutada ennast ja, ja, ja näidata ennast üle, üle võimst... Üle loomulikult. Yeah. And, and like we talked about last week. Nagu me rääkisime ka eelmisel nädalal. Whether you believe in Jesus or not. Et kas sina usud Jeesust või mitte. You're going to serve someone or you're going to serve something. Siis sa ikkagi saad teenima kas kedagi või midagi. Everybody serves someone or something. Kõik teenivad kas kedagi või midagi. It's just the way God created us. See on lihtsalt viis, kuidas Jumal on loonud meid. We're going to put something in our life to live for. Midagi me elus me paneme enda ette, et selle nimel elada. We're going to put something in our life to aim for. Mingisuguse asja, mingisuguse eesmärgi me paneme, et selle nimel me elame. And if that's not Jesus, it's going to be something else. Ja kui see eesmärk ei ole Jeesus, siis see on midagi muud. Your hobby, your job, your relationship, something is going to be there. Olguse sinu hobi, sinu, sinu töö, miski sugune asi saab sinu ees olema sinu nüüda ülimaks eesmärgiks. And I would rather live for God. Ja ma pigem elaksin Jumalale. And serve him. Ja teeniksin Jumalat. Than any other way that is on this planet to, to, to live. Või elaksin mingil muul viisil, mis, sin, mis võimalus on siin maapeal lõpmatud. And a godly lifestyle comes from having the right mindset. Jumala kartlik elustiil saab, saab alguse õigest mõteviisist. And so let me ask you some questions here and I, and I don't want you to be answering out loud and to embarrass yourself. Nii et ma tahan küsida täna sinu käest küsimusi ja palun ära nii kõvahele ka vasta, sest me ei taha sulle piinlikust valmistada. Uh, but I want you to listen to me and I want you to answer these in your heart. Aga palun kuule mind ja, ja vasta nendele küsimustel enda sees. So let me ask you, do you consider yourself to be a servant of Jesus? Kas sa nimetaksid ennast Jumala teeniaks? And as a servant or a slave of Jesus, do you measure up to his will in your life? Do you measure up to his will? Do you belong to Jesus? Do you do everything that he asks you to do? Do you live for his purpose and not your own. Kas sa elad eesmärgiga Jeesusele, mitte ainult enda eesmärkidest. And look what Jesus said here in Luke chapter 6. Uh, vaata, mida Jeesus ütleb Luuk evangeliumi 6. peadukis. And look at verse 46. Ja vaatame salmi 46. Jesus said something, I think it could quite possibly be one of the most powerful things he said. Uh, Jeesus ütleb siin midagi, mis on minust ka üks võimsam aid asja, mis ütles. He said, why do you call me Lord, Lord? But you don't do anything I say. Luuka 6.46. Aga miks te mind hüüate isand, isand, ega tee, mida ma ütlen? 
You call me Lord, Lord. Nii kutsutame mind isa on isand. But you don't do what I say. Aga ta ei tee seda, mida ma ütlen teile. How many times has this verse probably spoken right to you? Kui mitmel korral on see salm lihtsalt kõnetanud sind? How many times this week could Jesus have stood in front of you and said that exact thing? <laughs> Kui mitmel korral selle nädala jooksul oleks on Jeesus sinu eest seista ja öelda täpselt neid sama sõnu? How many times today could this verse have stepped on your toes? <laughs> Kui mitu korda tänase päeva jooksul oleks võinud see kirjakoht sulle varastele astuda? Because of your attitudes, your actions, your, your, your mentality. Sinu suhtumiste, sinu tegutsemiste pärast, sinu, sinu, sinu mõtteviside tõttu. Jesus is saying, you call me Lord and you, you, you say you worship and you serve but you do nothing I yes, say. Ütlete, ütlete, mulle isand, isand ja ülistate mind ja tahate teenida mind, aga, aga, aga te ei tee seda, mida ma ütlen teile. So how well are you serving the Lord? See ka, kui hästi teenid sina Jumalat? How well are you making him number one in your life? Kui hästi paned sina teda oma elus esimesele kohale? Because if you're his servant, if you're his slave, that means you live to make him pleased. Sest kui sina elad selleks, et teenida Jeesust ja olla tema ori, siis, siis sa elad ju selle jaoks, et temale meelepärane olla. Amen? Onni. That's, that's, that should be our, our purpose. See peaks ju olema meie eesmärk. If, if you hired me to be your butler, my job would be to make you happy. Kui sina palkaksid mind oma teenindajaks, siis minu eesmärk oleks see, et lihtsalt teenitad sind täielikult. If you said bring me my coffee, I would be there with coffee. Ja kui sina ütleks mulle, et Pärri, kus on minu kohvi, siis ma tuleksin kohviga. And if I came with tea, you would say, what kind of a servant are you? Ja kui ma tuleksin hoopis teega, siis sa ütleksid, no mil, mis sugune teenija sa oled? Well, I just didn't feel like making coffee. Tea was easier. Ei, ma, mul oli tunne, et, nagu, et teed on lihtsam teha kui kohvi teha, et ma tegin sul hoopis teed. It doesn't matter what I think. Et pole, mida, mida sina mõtled, mida sinu tunned. What does my master think? Mida minu isand minust arvab või mida tea mõtleb? And what, what, if he asked me to do something and I said, you know what, I'm not feeling like it today. Kui tema palub mul midagi teha ja ma ütlen, et kuule tead, mul ei ole tänas lihtsalt tunnet, et teha seda. He would say, what kind of a servant are you? Ütleme, mis teenija sa oled selline? And I think this is the way that the Lord feels about me and you some of the time. Ja mõnus on, et see on viis, kuidas isand Jeesus tunneb vahest minuga, vahest sinuga. Because we all have attitudes. Sest meil kõil on erinevaid suhtumisi. Sometimes we, we, we don't do things that we should do. Vahest me ei tee sellised asju, mida me peaksime tegema. And sometimes the things we do do aren't exactly like he said to do them. Ja vahest need asjad, mida me teeme, me ei tee täpselt nii, nagu meil on palutud neid teha. And we feel good because we did something. Ja me tunneme ennast hästi, sest no midagi me ju tegime. Well, he's so picky. You know, he wanted coffee, I brought him tea, but he's so picky. Ah, ta on, ta on niivõrd valiv, ta, ta tahab just seda teha, ta ei kogu aeg. You know, he wanted me to, to have you know, overflowing joy, well, at least I didn't hit him in the face. You know, no, that, that can't be the way that we live our lives. We need to live according to his will. And again, come to, coming back to our, to our point in this series, you're not going to be able to do this without his help. We need to hear from the Lord every day and then do what he says. Obey. And then we will, we will be free to be blessed by God. And he will be free to bless us. Because we are being a good servant. And so, so you can call him Lord. But if you're not doing his will, he's not really Lord. And so if, if you're going to call Jesus the Lord of your life, kui sina nimetad Jeesus oma elu isandaks, if you're going to call say that Jesus is my my savior, kui sa ütled Jeesus sina oled minu pääst, he's my my master. Tema on minu isand. He's everything for me. Tema on kõik minu jaoks. Then we need to start taking that to heart on times when we're not in church. Siis me peaksime ka seda oma südames meeles pidama ka siis kui me ei ole kogutuses. And so we need his direction and we need his help for life. Meil on vaja tema juhtimist ja tema juhendamist oma pä- igapäeva elus. Without the Lord being pleased with us, ilma selleta, et isand oleks rahul meiega, you and I, we're not going to be living the blessed life that we could live. Sina ja mina, me ei saa elada neid õnnistatud elusid, mida me tahame, et me elaksime. And so the point of this series is you need Jesus. Selle seina suurimaks puundik, punktiks jällegist on see, et sina vajad Jeesust. Say, I need Jesus. Ütle, mina vajan Jeesust. Mina vajan Jeesust. I need Jesus. Mina vajan Jeesust. I don't know about you every day, 
I wake up and I say that. Ma ei tea, kuidas on sinu ka mina iga päeva hetkel üles ja ma ütlen seda. Lord, I need you again today. Help me. Jeesus, ma vajan sind taaskord, palun aita mind. Help me. Aita mind. Help me to see things right. Aita minul näha asju õigesti. Help me to do things right. Aita mul teha asju õigesti. Help me to say things right. Aita mul öelda asju õigesti. And not just to to the 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 people that that are in church. Ja mitte lihtsalt inimestele, kes on kogudusest. But we're talking about to, to all the other areas of my life. Ma ei märgi me oma elu kõikides valdkondades. That I need to be the example in the man of God. Et ma peaksin olema selline eeskülik Jumala teenija. And so we can't do it without him. Ja, ja me ei saa asju teha ilma temata. And it's not about you, it's about God. Ja ei asi üldse ei ole sinust, vaid asi on Jumalas. And so you can't live life right without him. Sa ei saa elada elu õigesti ilma temata. And the Bible tells us that we are to lay our life down. Ja Bible ütleb, me peaksime panema enda elu maha. And we're to serve others. Ja teenime teisi. And, and, and when we do, ja kui me teeme seda, we realize it's not about me, it's all about Jesus. Siis me mõistame, et meie ei ole elu keskpunktiks, vaid Jeesus on. Jesus should be the reason that you live. Jeesus peaks olema see põhjus, milleks sa elad. I mean, it's not just a song. See ei ole lihtsalt mingisugune laul. It's not just a verse in the Bible. See ei ole lihtsalt mingisugune kirja koht piiblis. Let it be the motto of your life. Lasse olla sinu elu motoks. Just like it was for Paul. Samamoodi nagu see oli Pauluse jaoks. Paul said, the reason I live is Jesus. Paulus ütles, ma elan Jeesuse jaoks. And we should be able to say that same thing. Ja me peaksime olema suutelised ütlema seda sama asja. Not that you're perfect. Mitte seda, et sa oled kuidagi täiuslik. Because none of us are going to do this perfectly. Sest mitte keegi meist ei suuda seda täiesti Jesus was the only one to do it perfectly. Jesus oli ainus, kes suutis kõike seda teha täiuslikult. But he wants to see your heart that you're doing the very best that you can. Aga ta tahab näha, et, et oma südames sa täiesti annad oma parima kõige sellest. you're making strides to be better all the time. Et sa pingutad selle nimel, et sa saada paremaks, muududa paremaks. And this is what's going to not just change you, but it'll change the people around you. Ja see on see, mis muudab mitte ainult sind, vaid ka inimesi sinu ümber. And so I, I've realized sometimes in life Ma olen vahest mõistnud elus sellist asja vahest. That our questions reveal our heart. Et meie küsimused ähm, paljastavad meie südame. Our questions reveal what's really in our heart. Meie küsimused paljastavad selle, mis tegelikult on meie südames. Have you ever had your question reveal what was in your heart? Kas sa oled kunagi kogenud, et sinu küsimus kuidagi näitab selle, mis on sinu südames? Think about some relationship issues you might have had. Mõte mingi suguste suhte probleemide peal, mis sul on. Maybe think about some of the fights that maybe you've had, arguments or whatever you Võib-olla want to call it. Võib-olla mingi suguste vaidlused või ja aru saamatused, kuidas iganes tahad neid nimetada. And a lot of times it starts with a question, right? Ja üsna tihti saab asi alguse küsimusest, kas pole. Why can't you be better than me? <laughs> Miks sina ei saa olla kuidagi parem minu vastu? Why do you always act like that? Miks küll sina alati käitad seda siin? <laughs> Why did you... You know, Miks küll sina? <laughs> a lot of times our questions reveal our heart. Üsna tehti meie, meie küsimused näitavad meie südant. And you might, not, you might even know the answer to the question. Ja, yeah, you might not. You might know. Yeah. Sa võib-olla isegi tead vastust nendele küsimustele. But just the fact that you have the question. Aga lihtsalt see, see fakt, et sul on selline küsimus. Reveals your heart. See tegelikult näitab sinu südand. And I've noticed in counseling with people. Ja ma olen märganud, kui ma nõustan inimesi. That questions reveal the heart. Et küsimused näitavad seda, mis inimeste südames toimub. And by our questions. By our questions. Ja läbi meie küsimuste. We show others our, 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 what we lack or what we have. Läb, I think. Läbi oma küsimuste me näitame inimestele seda, mis meie, meil kas on olemas või mis meil on puudu. We show others that we lack understanding me or, näitame, or we have understanding. Me näitame inimestele läbi oma küsimuste, et meil kas on olemas aru saamine või meil puudub täielik aru saamine. We show others that we lack faith or we have faith by our questions. Läbi oma küsimuste me saame inimestele näidata, et meil on kas usk olemas või usk on täiesti puudu. There were some people that asked Jesus questions and he said, where's your faith? <laughs> on, on, on inimesi, kes küsisid Jeesuse käest uh, küsimusi ja Jeesus ütles, kus on teie usk? Right, some people had questions and, and, and as they came, Jesus said, you've got great faith. Et, et mõne, mõned inimesed tulid Jeesuse juurde ja küsisid küsimusi ja Jeesus ütles, et sul on suur usk. So by your questions, you can, you can determine somebody's commitment or lack of commitment. Oma, uh, nende küsimuste läbi inimesed saavad näidata, kas nad on pühendunud või neil puudub täielik pühendumine. You could show, you could determine somebody's uh, patience or lack of patience. Ja sa võid küsimuste järgi näha, kas inimestele on kannatust või ei ole. And so many times by our questions, üsna tihti läbi oma küsimuste, I can know where you are spiritually. Uh, või läbi küsimuste, mina võin näiteks näha seda, kus kohas sina oled oma usukõnnatkus. 
where you are spiritually. And, and, and I understand more what you're going through by your questions. And I can help you because of your questions. Because our questions give away what's really in our heart. Sest meie küsimused näitavad seda, mis on meie südames. And so in this series, I want to help answer some of your questions. Ja selles seeres ma tahaksin vastata mõningatele teie küsimustele. And, and maybe it will help you to, to change your perspective on some things. Ja see võib-olla aitab sulle muuta seda viisi, kuidas sa näed mingid asju. Because how we see things Sest kuidas meie näeme asju is going to help us to go after the answer in the right way. Lõpuks viib meid selle nii, kas me läheme õigesti õige küsimuse and when we realize it's not about me, it's all about Jesus. Sest me peame lõpuks aru saama, et asi ei ole meis, vaid asi on Jeesuses. That is when we can focus on what's really important in life. Sest siis me saame keskenduda asjades, mis on täiesti olulised. And we can manage our lives in a way that we bring God glory. Ja me võime majandada oma elusid sellisel viisil, mis toovad Jumala lau. And really, isn't that our goal? Isn't that what we live for? Ja kas see pole mitte meie eesmärk ja see, mille päraks me elame? Amen, we should be living to bring glory to God. Me peaksime elama selleks, et tuua au Jumalale. That should, that's the purpose of this church. See on selle koguduse eesmärk. It should be the purpose of your life. See peaks olema sinu elu eesmärk. So we want to bring glory to Jesus Christ. Me tahame tuua au Jeesusele Kristusele. We want to bring glory to our Heavenly Father. Me tahame tuua au oma taevasele isale. And it's through our questions. Ja läbi oma küsimuste. A lot of times that, that it reveals to us and to others what's really going on in the inside. Üsna tihti need saavad näidata, et kus kohas me ei oleme enda elus. And so let me start with a question here this morning. Alustan täna ühe küsimusega. How can I overcome? Kuidas ma võin olla võidukas? How can I get victory in life? Kuidas ma võin elus olla võidukas? Is it overcoming victories? Yeah, it's just basically. All right. Yeah. How can I? How can I win? Kuidas ma võin elus võita? And so, re- remember our our premise for this series. Am mõtlen nüüd selle selle seera punkti veel ajal. You cannot do it alone. Et sa ei saa teha asju üksinda. It's not about you. Asi ei ole sinus. It's all about Jesus. Ma ei saa siin Jeesuses täielikult. You serve Jesus. He is your Lord. He is your help. Sina teenid Jeesust. Jeesus on sinu isand. Tema on sinu abi. And this means that that Jesus is the one who gives you victory. See tähendab, et Jeesus on see, kes annab sulle võidu. Amen. And so when you come to a, to a situation and your question is, how can I get the victory here? Kui sina saatub mingise olukorda ja sa mõtled, et kuidas mina võin olla võidukas selles olukorras. A lot of times you might not be able to get the victory. Siis võibolla sina ei saagi seda võitu kätte. And that's when we need to trust that Jesus Christ is going to help us do this. Ja see on see koht, kus me oleme usaldada, et Jeesus Kristus aitab meil teha nüüd asju. And go with me to 1st John chapter 4. Lähen palun esimese Johannese kirja. I'm sorry, 1st John chapter 5 verse 4. Esimese Johannese 5. peadukin 4. salmist. 1st John chapter 5 verse 4. I want to read this out of the Amplified Bible. It's just going to add a few thoughts in this or a few yeah. Yeah. <laughs> esimese Johannese 5. 5. peadukin 4. salmist. Ta on lugeda laiendatud Bible telkest, et siin on Paar siis mõtet või punkti juurde lisatud. And it says, for everyone born of God is victorious and overcomes the world. <coughs> Esimese Johannese 5.4. Jah, iga üks, kes on sündinud Jumalast, võidab ära maailma. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Ja see ongi võid, mis on võitnud ära maailma. Our continuing persistent faith in Jesus the Son of God. Meie jätkuv ja püsiv usk Jeesusesse Jumala poega. What is it that helps you to win in life? Mis on see, mis aitab meil olla võidukas? It's your continuing faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. On meie jätkuv ja püsiv usk Jeesusesse Kristusesse. In verse 5 it says this. Ja viiendas salmis ütleb, et And who is the one who is victorious and overcomes the world? And kes on, kes võidab ära maailma? It is the one who believes and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the son of God. Eks see, kes usub ja tunnustab fakti, et Jeesus on Jumala poeg. And so this is telling us how to win. See siin räägib meile, kuidas saada võit elus. And it's not saying you win because of how smart you are. Ja siin ei ütle, et sa võidad sellepärast, et sa on niivõrd tark. It's not saying you win because of how beautiful you are. Ja siin ei ütle, et sa võidad sellepärast, et sa on niivõrd ilus. It's not saying that you win because of how... how, how uh, humble you are. Siin ei ütle, et sa võidukas oled õttu, et kui võrd olandiks oled. How joyful you are. Kui võrd täis rõõmus oled. You know, we, we can try to put on even some spiritual things. Hey, me võime esigi siin endale lastele panna seised vaimsed asju külge. But if it's not Jesus that, that, that is, is the, the one giving you the, the, 
the strength for victory, you're not going to have victory. Aga kui Jeesus ei ole see, kes annab sulle võidu kätte, siis tegelikult sa ei saa võitu. And if you do get victory, you're not going to be able to hold it for very long, and that's a whole other story. Ja kui sa saad võidu, siis sa ei saa seda sellest võidust kinni hoida väga kaua, ja see on hoopis teine lugu. But faith in Jesus is what gives you the victory over anything in life. Aga usk Jeesuses on miski, mis annab sulle võidu ükskõik, mille üle elus. Why am I so passionate about faith in God? Miks ma olen niivõrd kirglik usus Jumalasse? Why am I so passionate about Jesus that he's the only way? Miks ma olen nii kirglik Jeesuse suhtes, et tema on ainuste? Because I have seen what he's done for me and what he does for everybody else who believes in him. Sest ma olen näinud, mida Jumal on teinud minu jaoks ja ma olen näinud, mida ta on teinud teiste inimeste jaoks, kes usuvad temast. He is the one who gives us what we need to be victorious in this life. Sest tema on see, kes annab meile, mida me vajame selleks, et olla sinne elus võiduka. Without Without Jesus, you cannot win. Ilma Jeesuse ta sa ei saa võita. And if you do win, uh, you're not going to be able to hold the victory very long. Ja kui sa saad võita, siis sa ei saa nendest võitudest üsna kaua kinni hoida. But by consistent faith in Jesus Christ. Aga läbi järepidava ja püsiva usu Jeesusesse Kristusesse. You can win. Sa võid olla võidukas. And I think one of the biggest tools that the enemy uses to come against our victory. Ja ma usun, et üks tööriistadest, mida vaenane kasutab, et tulla meie võitude vastu. And to come against you and your life. Ja tagistada sind ja sinu elu. One of the biggest things that Satan uses is fear. Üks suuremad asju, mida saatan kasutab, on hirm. One of the biggest tools that, that Satan will use against you in your life is fear. Üks suuremad tööriist, mida saata kasutab sinu vastu, on hirm. Fear is one of the ways that he can keep you from walking into your victory. Hirm on üks hea viis, kuidas tema saab hoida sind eemale sinu, sinu võitudest. And, and this is why God says over and over. Ja selle pärast Jumal ütleb korduvalt, korduvalt. This is why Jesus said over and over. Selle pärast Jeesus ütles korduvalt. This is why the angels have said over and over. Ja selle pärast inglid ütles korduvalt. Do not fear. Ära karda. Do not be afraid. Ära, 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 ära ole hirmunud. Same, same, okay. <laughs> Don't fear. Ära karda. Don't fear. Ära karda, ära tunne hirmu. Why would he tell us that? Miks nad kordavad sellist asja? Because fear will block us from stepping over into victory. Selle pärast, et hirm takistab meile astumast võitu. And God wants us to be in victory. Ja Jumal tahab, et meie oleksime võidus. And why would we be afraid? Why would we not be afraid? Let me say that. Ja miks me siis ei peaks karpa? Well, we are not afraid when we know that God is there. No, me ei tunne hirmu, kui me teame, et Jumal on meiega olemas. Remember, uh, uh, in, in Hebrews chapter 13, let's just read this real quick. Loome kirjast Heebrealastele 13. peadukist. Hebrews chapter 13, and look here in verse 6. Kiri Heebrealastele 13. ja loome 6. salmist. And says, and so we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Heebrealastele 13. 6. Nii võime julgest öelda, isand on minu abimees, minul ei ole midagi karta. Mida võid teha mulle inimene? What can man do to me? Mida inimene saab teha minule? What can anybody do to me that, 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 that God can't fix? Why do I need to be afraid of you? Why do I need to be afraid of anything in this life? There's no reason to fear. There's no reason to fear. Because we know that God is here. The, the, the writer says here, the Lord is my helper. See, kes kirja on pannud selle ütleb, et, et isand on minu abi, abi, abiline. The Lord is my helper. Why am I not afraid? Because the Lord's helping me. Et Jumal aitab mind selle tõttu, ma ei kardagi. It's not because, you know, I, I'm just, I'm a man. Man, man, I'm not fear ole selles, nobody. Et, et ma olen mees ja ma ei kardagi mitte midagi. <laughs> you can't make me afraid. I don't care what you say. Sina ei saa mind panna hirmu tunnma. No, ma ei pole mida sa ütled. You can put on the, the macho front, but... But what's really in your heart? There's a lot of things that I do afraid. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm trusting. I'm taking a step even though I don't know what the outcome is. And I'm going like... Ma võtan usu sammu ja ma ei tea, milline tulemus saab olema, aga, aga ma usaldan Jumalat. Lord, if you don't show up, man, I'm sinking. <laughs> Isand, kui sina mind nüüd ei aita, siis mina hakkan uppuma kohe. If you don't show up, I'm going to look like a fool for you. <laughs> Jumal, kui sina nüüd ei näita ennast, siis ma näen välja nagu rumal, rumal inimene sinu silmis. And I think God likes it when we take those steps, we're looking to him and he has to come through. Aga ma usun, et, 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 et Jumal on meelib see, kui ta näeb inimesed astuvad usust välja ja siis ta peab tulema ja aitama neid. And so you can live fearless. Ja sa saad elada ilma hirmuta. You can come to a place in your life that no matter what happens, 
you're not afraid. Sa võid jõuda oma elu sellisesse kohta, kus mis iganes ka juhtub, sa ei tunne hirmu. Because you know he is there. Sest sa tead, et Jumal on sinuga. And in your time of need you trust him, not yourself and not your own ability. Ja kui sul on mingisugune vajadus või puudus, siis sa usaldad, et ema toob sind läbi, mitte sa ei usalda ise ennast. And living fearless means that you have no stress. Ja see, et sa elad ilma hirmuta, tähendab, et sul ei ole mingisugust stressi. You have no worry. Sul ei ole mingid muresid. You have, you, you don't have sleepless nights. Ja sul ei ole unetuid öid. Because fear is going to make you stress, it's going to make you worry, it's going to cause you to, to panic. Sest hirm põhjustab sinu stressi, hirm on, põhjustab sinus paanikat ja igasugust muretsemist. Fear for what you do not know keeps you up at night. Hirm millegi eest, mida, mida sa ei tea või millegi tulemus sa ei tea, hoiab sind öösel üleval. But without fear, aga kui sul ei ole hirmu, you could be confident. Siis sa võid olla kindel. You can be, you can be happy. Sa võid olla õnnelik. You can be peaceful. Sa võid olla täis rahu. You can be serving God with, with, with all your heart. Sa võid teenida Jumalat kogu oma südamest. Because you don't have fear. Sest sa ei tunne hirmu. You can just live for him. Sa võid lihtsalt elada temale. Now I stand before you today uh, not afraid of you. Nüüd ma seisan sinu ees ja ma enam ei karda sind. <laughs> Because he's here to help me. Sest ma tean, et Jumal on siin ja tema aitab mind. And so whether we have a room of 70 people or we have a room of 700 people, et, I'm not afraid. Nüüd omel siin uh, inimesi 70 või 700, mina ei tunne hirmu enam. <laughs> Because he's here to help me. Sest Jumal on siin ja tema aitab mind. And he's going to help me to speak to you. Ja tema aitab mul rääkida sinuga. And he's going to help me to, to impact your life. Ja tema aitab mul mõjutada sinu elu. And it's not my ability, it's his ability. Ja see ei ole mitte me. kuidagi minu võimest, vaid, vaid asi on Jumala, Jumalast, mis tema teeb minu läbi. And this is what God desires for you. Ja see on midagi, mida Jumal igatseb iga ühe teie jaoks. God desires for you to live a happy, fruitful, stable life. Jumal igatseb seda, et sina elaksid õnneliku, viljakandvad ja, ja stabiilset elu. And so, so uh, remember Jesus when he shows up to the boys on the boat? Uh, Mäetad seda, kui Jeesus näitas ennast et, oma jüng and, and remember what he said in Matthew chapter 14 and verse 27. Matthew 14, 27, it says, But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. What is Jesus saying here? He's saying, you've got a choice right now. You've got a choice. You could either take courage or you could take fear. What are you going to choose? And when you face the trials of your life, when you face situations that look too big, what are you going to take? Are you going to take fear? Or are you going to take courage? Or sometimes you say, well, I'll, I'll take a little bit of both. <laughs> I'll say, God help me, but I'm afraid. You know, no, we, we, Jesus said, I'm here. So now you have a choice. You could be afraid. Or you could be courageous. I want you to be courageous is ja what Jesus tahan, is saying. And so he told them they had a choice. Church, we always have a choice. Everything in, for life, we have a choice. Don't think that when you become saved, you become God's little robot. <laughs> and then you just do everything. I raise my hands to you, Lord. You I read your word, Lord. I be kind to people, Lord. No, you, yeah. you have a choice Ei, sul on iga kord valik. if you're going to raise your hand and surrender yourself to the Lord or not. You have a choice sul on valik. to read God's word today or not. Kas täna Jumala sõna või mitte? You have a choice to love your spouse or not. Sul on valik armastada oma abikaasad või mitte. You have a choice to be an example to your kids or not. Sul on valik, kas sa oled oma lastele ees kui jooksub või mitte. You have a choice every day. Iga päevaselt sul on valik. What are you going to do with your choice? Aga mida sa oma valikuga teed? And Jesus is saying, choose courage. Jeesus ütles, et valigi julgus. Uh, remember there was a time where God said, you know, you've got life or death. Please choose life. And so Jesus is saying, you've got a choice. Choose wisely. 
and, and then in Psalms chapter 46. Uh, Psalms 46, I'm going to read 1 and 2, it's 2 and 3 in the Estonian Bible. But in verse 1 it says this. God is your refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Jumal on meie varjupaik ja tugevus, meie abimees kitsikuses ja kergesti leitav. He is Tema on. everything that I need. Kõik, mida me vajame. He is my protection Ta on minu kaitse, and he is my strength. Ja tema on minu tugevus. And so I'm going to look to him in my trouble. Seega ma vaatan tema peale oma uh, raskustes. Verse 2 says, so I will not fear when the earthquakes and, and, and the mountains crumble into the sea. Ning kolmas salm ütleb sellepärast, ma, me ei kaarda, kui maa liiguks asemelt ja mäed kõiguksid merede põhjas. And you might say, well, the last time we had a mountain in Estonia was thousands of years ago. Ja sa mõtled, et kuule viimati, kui meil Eestis oli mõni mägi, see oli tuhandid aastat tagasi. And the last time there was an earthquake in Estonia was way before my generation. Ja viimane kord, kui Eestis oli mingisugune maa väri, see oli kõvasti enne minu aega. And so I guess this verse does doesn't apply to little old me. Seega, ma arvan, et see kiire oht minule ei kehti. So I can fear. Seega, ma võin olla hirmu täis. don't have those things anymore. Sest meil ei ole enam neid asju. No, I don't think David here, the psalmist, I don't think that they that they're writing about earthquakes and mountains crumbling. Ma ei sõnud, et Taavet või kes ilnas selle laulu kirjutas, et ta räägib sinu päris maa värinutest. I believe that they are writing about when your world looks like it's fallen apart. Ma ei tea selles, kui tundub, et sinu elu variseb kokku. When everything around you seems like it's in chaos. Kui tundub, et kõik sinu ümber on kaoses. You do not fear. Sa ei tunne hirmu, sa ei karda. Why? Miks? We back up a verse and we remember why. Läheme salmi võrra tagasi ja tuletame meelde endale, miks? Because he is my refuge and my strength. Selle pärast, et tema on minu varju vaik ja tugevus. And he is my help. Ja minu abimees. And so I don't need to be afraid. Ja see tõttu ma ei pea kartma. Even when life has fallen apart all around me. Isegi kui elu tundub, et variseb kokku minu ümber. Have you ever felt like life's just fallen apart? Yeah, I had one of those days. On olnud kunagi sul seesid tunteid, et sa tunned, et lihtsalt elu varisub kokku sinu ümber. One of those weeks, maybe. Ma olen sul mõni selline nädal olnud. One of those years, maybe. Ja nii selline aasta võib olla. You know, where it just seems like everything is just fallen apart. Siis seal tundub, et kõik variseb koost laiali. And Jesus said, now you have a choice. Ja Jeesus teeb, nüüd sul on valik. You can choose fear. Ja sa võid valida hirmu. You can choose courage. Või sa võid valida ei olguse. You choose what you're going to have Aga in life. Aga sina oled see, kes valib selle, mis sinu elus sa valitsema. Because you can't do this alone. Sest üksinda sa ei suuda seda teha, sa ei saa seda teha. you try to do it alone, you will have fear. Ja kui sa üritad seda üksinda teha, siis sul on hirmu. You are going to be so confused about what's coming tomorrow. Sa oled niivõrd segaduses selle suhtes, mis sind homme ees ootab. But if you will look to me. Aga kui sa hoiad oma silmad Jumala peal. Knowing that you can't do this alone. Teadas, et sa ei suuda seda üksinda teha. I will be your help and I will be your supply. Siis Jumal ütleb, ma olen sinu abi, ma olen sinu varustus. I will be the one to protect you. Mina olen see, kes kaitseb sind. I'm going to be the one to strengthen you every day. Mina olen see, kes tugevadab sind igapäevaselt. You look to me. Sina vaata minu peale. Because you can't do it. Sest üksinda sa ei suuda seda teha. But if you look to me and know that I'm here. Aga kui sa vaata minu peale ja tead, et ma olen siin. I'll give you peace and I will give you strength and I will protect your life. Siis ma olen sulle rahu, ma olen sulle tugevust ja ma kaitin sinu elu. And so we have our Jesus who is amazing. Nii et meil on Jeesus, kes on imeline. And it seems to me some of the, the first things that, that, that we, we forget. Ja ma olen tunne, et mõned esmased asja, mis me unustame kohalik ära. In times of stress and worry and, 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 and chaos. Nii pea, kui me hakkame muretsema või tuneme mingisugust stressi või oleme kaoses. Sometimes the first thing that we forget is God is here. Siis vahest esimene asi, mille me unustame ära on see, et Jumal on siin. Because if we... If we remembered God is here, we wouldn't stress about it, Sest kui meil oleks meeles see, et Jumal on siin, siis me ei murendseks nende asjade pärast. If you said you have no idea what's going on in my family right now. Ja sa võib-olla ütled, et kuule, pastor, sa ei tea, mis minu perest toimub praegu. But if I told you, well, Jesus is going to show up this afternoon, he'll be with you. Aga kui ma ütleksin, et tead, Jeesus tuleb see pärast lõuna ja on sinuga koos. He told me he's going to come to your house today at four o'clock. Ja ta ütles, et ta tuleb täna kell neli sinu juurde, sinu koju. What would you do? Siis mida sa teeksid? You'd be there at four o'clock. Siis sa oleksid kodus kell neli. You'd be expecting, you'd be happy, you'd be full of faith. Seal oleksid ootel, sa oleksid täis rõõmu, juba teaksid julgused, et kõik saab korda. And you believe that he would show up to help you to fix your family. Ja usud seda, et Jeesus tuleb ja aitab sind teha sinu pere korda. He's not going to just show up today at four, let me tell you. Aga jah, ma ütlen sulle, et ei, Jeesus ei tule täna kell neli sulle külla niimoodi. 
He's already here. Sest ta on juba siin. He's already with you all the time. Ta on juba sinuga kõikel kogu sa lähed. You don't need to make an appointment. Sul ei ole vaja lepida kokku aega, kui Jeesus tuleb. Because he's so busy trying to help everybody else. Sest vaata Jeesus on nii palju tegemist, vaata palju inimestega peab tegema. That if you got to make an appointment so he'll put you in there. Sul on vaja kuidagi lepida kokku aega, et Jeesus kas on graafikus aega, et minu kokku saada. I'm so thankful that he is God. Aga ma nii täna oleks sellest, et ta on Jumal. And that means he can come into each and every one of our business. At any time. Ja see tähendab, et ta võib iga ühe meie asjadega tegeleda ükskõik, mis ajal. And he can help you and a billion other people at the same time. Ta võib aidata sind ja miljard teist inimest. At the same time. Samal ajal. At the same moment. Samal hetkel. Because he's God and, and, and we're going to understand that, but we're not. Sest ta on Jumal ja, ja meie ei ole ja, ja me ei saagi sellest aru täielikult. But he'll help you do what you need to do. Aga Jumal saab aidata sul teha seda, mis sinul on maja teha. And so we face every situation and when that fear comes, we need to remember, ah, but he's here. Ja see tõttu meil on vaja meeles pidada, et kui see hirm hakkabki tulema, siis meil on vaja meeldada tõetada, et Jeesus on siin. When the worry comes, you, but he's here. Kui mure tuleb, siis aga Jeesus on siin. When that attitude rises up, but no, 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 he's here. Kui see suhtumine tõuseb, siis aga Jeesus on siin. And we guard our hearts. Ja me hoiame oma südamid. We check ourselves on the inside. Me kontrollime seda, mis meie sees toimub. Because we believe that he's here. Selle tõttu, et me usume, et Jeesus on siin. And then we don't have any fear. Ja siis meil ei ole hirmu. Knowing that God is going to help us through any trouble. Vaid me teame, et Jumal aitab meid igast kitsikusest He's going to help us through any battle. And we will get victory. Amen. Amen. Go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. We do not have to fear because we have his help. Me ei pea kartma, sest meil on tema abi. He's always here. Ta on alati siin meil. And so 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 says this. Ja teine kirja Korintlastele 12 ja peadükki 9. Sail mõtleb nii. This was Paul, he was complaining about, about having problems in life. Paulus ka kurtis oma probleemidest natukene. And this was God's answer. Ja see oli Jumala vastus tema. Says in each time he said, my grace is all you need, my power works best in weakness. Teine Korintlastele 12.9. Kui tema ütles mulle, sulle piisab minu armust, sest nõtruses saab vägi täielikuks. My power works best in weakness. Minu vägi töödab paremini nõtruses. What is he saying? Mida ta ütleb siin? He's saying it's not about you, it's about me. Ütleb, et asi ei ole sinus, vaid asi on minus. You can't do it. Sina ei saa seda teha. That's basically what he's saying. See on see tegelikult, mida Jumal ütleb siin. You can't do it. Et sa ei suuda seda teha, sa ei saa seda teha. But with me you can do it. Aga koos minu, kas sa saad seda teha? And then he goes on to say this. Ja siis ütleb edasi niimoodi. Paul said, so I'm going to boast about my weakness so that the power of Christ can work through me. Paulus ütleb siin, nii ma siis kiitlen meelsamini oma nõtruses, et Kristuse vägi laskuks elama minu peale. And Paul's the one who said, man, I I can do all things. Paulus on ju see, kes ütles, et ma suudan teha kõike. He must have been pretty good. No, oli just päris väga vend. He must have been a really, I mean, just knowing all things, that's, that's pretty good. See vend vist teadis päris palju seda asju, ta oli just päris tugev tüüp. But that's not all he said. Aga see ei ole kõik, mida ta ütles. He said, I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. Ma suudan teha kõike läbi Kristuse, kes annab mulle tugevuse. He realized, I'm weak, but now he makes me strong. Ma istas, et mina olen nõrk, aga tema on see, kes teeb mind tugevaks. What I don't know, he gives me wisdom. Mina ei tea, sellest tema annab mulle tarkust. When I can't push through, he gives me the strength to do it. Kui mina ei suuda läbi murda, siis tema annab mulle tugevuse, et läbi minna. He protects me, he guards my life. Tema kaitseb mind, tema hoiab mind. His hand is on me. Tema käsi on minu üle. This is all about him, it's not about me. Asi on Jumalas, mitte minus. And this is where Paul learned a huge lesson. Ja see on koht, kus Paulus õppis väga suur õppetunni. That I'm going to put my God first. Mina panen oma Jumala esimesel kohale. And I'm going to believe that he is here. Ja ma usun seda, et tema on siin. And so by grace, Jesus will show up and he'll strengthen you. Armu läbi, Jumal ilmutab ennast sinule ja anna sulle tugevust. By grace, Jesus will show up and give you confidence and stability. Armu läbi, Jeesus ilmutab ennast sinule ja anna sulle stabiilsust ja tugevust. By grace, Jesus will give you the victory. Armu läbi, annab Jeesus sulle võidu kätte. How many are thankful for the grace? Ja kui põlnud on tänulikult selle armu eest? Amen. I'm thankful for his grace. I want more grace. Amen. I'm, I'm glad he hasn't run out of grace. Amen. 
you know, Hubert needs a lot and I, you know, he doesn't have any left for me. Kuule, Hubertil on kõvasti armu vaja, aga, aga, aga minu jaoks enam ei olegi. No, he's got so much. Ei, ja mul on nii võrd palju armu. It's new every day. Et see on uus igapäev. And it's more than enough for you. Ja see on rohkem kui külladane sinu jaoks. It's more than enough for me. See on rohkem kui külladane minu jaoks. It's more than enough for us in Estonia. See on rohkem kui külladane meie kõigi jaoks siin Eesti maal. We can do the will of God. Me suudame teha Jumala tahtmist. Because his grace is more than enough for you. Sest tema arm on rohkem kui külaldane meie kõige jaoks. And so we boast about that. We tell people about it. Me võime kiirelda selles, me võime rääkida sellest inimestele. We need to be going and telling people how good our God is. Ja me rääkime inimestele sellest, kui võrd hea on meie Jumal. And when you're blessed, you need to say, this is not me, this is God. If, when, when you're blessed. Ah, et kui sa oled õnnistatud, siis ta ära räägi, et see ole mina, vaid räägi, et see on Jumal, kes tegi mulle selle. This is God. God. Jumal on selline. And they say, well, you got such a great job. This is God. Ja, ja kui inimesed ütlevad, kuule, jah, ei, sul on nii vägev töökoht, siis sa ütled, ei, see on, see on Jumalast. You've got an amazing family. No, this is God. Ei, sul on vägev perekond. Ei, see on Jumalast. Jumal on annud mulle selle. Oh, you, you've got such good health. No, this is God. Sul on nii hea korralik tervis. Ei, see on Jumalast. Jumal on õndistatud. And when we put God first, when we look to him first, kui me paneme Jumala esimesele kohale ja vaatame esmalt tema peale, he's going to give us the ability and the strength to face every situation of life. Sest mulle meile võimekuse vastuse eesta igale olukorrale, mis meie elus tuleb. And not just survive. Ja mitte lihtsalt kuidagi elu jääda. But to win. Vaid et olla võidukas. He will give us the victory. Sest tema on see, kes annab meile võidu. And so how can I get the victory, pastor? Nii pastor, kuidas mina võin saada võidu? You look to him. Vaata, vaata Jumala peale. You look to him. Sina vaata Jumala peale. He is the one that will give you the Sest victory. Sest tema on see, kes annab sulle võidu. And, and I, I love what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15. Ja ma arvastan seda, mida ütleb esimese Korintlaste 15. peadükis. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 57 and 58. Esimene kiri Korintlastele 15. peadük 57-58. It says, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Aga tänu olgu Jumalale, kes meile võidu annab meie isande Jeesuse Kristuse läbi. I have to read that again. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Aga tänu olgu Jumalale, kes meile võidu annab meie isande Jeesuse Kristuse läbi. Hallelujah. All right, now I got to read it one more time. Ai, it, it, it's it's starting to catch on. Ei, juba hakkab tulema, Maikselt. Thanks be to God because he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Tänu olgu Jumalale, kes annab meile võidu isande Jeesuse Kristuse läbi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's him. See on tema. It's him in you. Tema sinu sees. It's not you just doing his thing. Asi ei ole selles, et sina kuidagi teed tema, tema tahtmist. I'm just doing it for the Lord. Oh, ma teen asju Jumalale. No, he's doing it in you. Ei, Jumal teeb asju sinu sees. You allow him to use you. Sina lased Jumalal kasutada ennast. He can help you to do anything. Tema saab aidata sinul teha ükskõik mida. But without him you can do nothing. Aga ilma temata sa ei suuda mitte midagi. And so let's put him first. Ja paneme tema esimesele kohale. You conquer any obstacle through your faith in Jesus. Sa võidad kõik takistused läbi Jeesuse Kristuse. And never think that what God did for you, that you did for yourself. Ja ära kunagi arva ja või mõtle, et see, mida, mida, mida Jumal tegi sinu, sinu, sinu jaoks, seda tegid hoopis sina. Don't ever think that the blessing that God put on your life, that it was because of how good you are. Ära mõtle, et, 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 et see õnnistus, mis sinu elus on, on lihtsalt sellepärast, et sina oled nii hea. Be sure that you're continually giving God the glory. Tee kinnaks, et sa tood Jumalale au selle eest. Give God the glory. Too Jumalale au. Uh, realize that, that you would not be where you are today without him. Mõista seda, et sina ei oleks seal, kus sa oled täna ilma temata. Uh, go with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 10 now. Läheme nüüd esimese kirja Korintlastele 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. Esimene kirja Korintlastele 10, 12 kuni 13. It says, and if you think that you're standing strong, be careful that you don't fall. <laughs> 12. sal nii siis, kes enese arvab seisod vaadaku, et ta ei langeks. Just about the time you think you're pretty special, be, be very careful that you're not on your face. Et nii pea, kui sa arvad, et sa oled nagu midagi erilist, siis, siis ole, ole ettevaatik, et sa nagu nina ei pane. Why? Miks? Because it's not about you. Sest asja ei ole sinus. It's about him. Ma tea, on Jumalas. He'll lift you up so that you can brag about him. Tema tõsab sind üles, et sina saaksid rääkida ja kiidelda temast. But he, if he lifts you up and you start bragging about you, aga kui tema tõsab sind üles ja sina hakkad enesest kiitlema, you have not been very careful. Siis sa ei ole olnud väga ettevaatlik. And you will fall. Ja sa langed. But we need to be very careful that in everything that is good in our life, 
we're praising God to everybody around us. Kõiges, mis on hea meie elus, et me kiitleme Jumalast teistel inimestele. And verse 13 says this. Kondeis tal mõtleb niimoodi. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience and God is faithful. Kondeis tal mõtleb, see nii pole teid tabanud muu kui inimil kiusatus, aga Jumal on ustav. And he will not allow you to be tempted more than you can stand and when you are tempted, he will show you the way out so that you can endure it. Kes ei luba teie kiusata rohkem, kui te suudate taluda, vaid koos kiusatusega valmistab ka välja pääsu, nii et te suudate taluda. So if you are looking to God in every situation, ja kui sina hoiad oma silmad Jumala peal ja vaatad Jumala peale igas olukorras, if you look to God in every trial, kui sa vaatad Jumala peale igas väljakutses, if you look to God in every temptation that you face, kui sa vaatad Jumala peale igas kiusatuses, mis sinu ette tuleb, every difficulty of your life, iga, igas raskuses, mis sinu elu tuleb, give you the way out. siis Jumal annab sulle välja pääsu tee. He will turn things around for your good. Tema pöörab asjad sinu kasuks. Amen. Amen. Even in the worst things, I've, I've had the worst things in my life turn out to be a good thing. Isegi kõige hullemad asjad, ma olen kogenud seda, kuidas kõige hullemad olukorrad muutuvad kõige paremateks olukordadeks minu elus. How does that happen? Kuidas sellised asjad juhtuvad? <laughs> Because I am so stinking wise. Oh, this morning never till get dark. I'm so good. Morning ni here. I took a bad thing and I made it a good thing. Morning sin hal vai siya tegin sale heox. No, that's not how it happened. Hey, hey, guy, I said me. Because I was a mess. Es ist mina oli nomad ega täiesti sassis. I didn't see a way out. Ja ma ei näinud välja pääsu teed. And I just looked to Jesus. Ja ma vaatasin Jeesuse peale. And he took a bad thing. Ja tema võtis halva asja and he turned it for my good. Ja muutis selle minu heaks. And I come out stronger? Ja ma tulen välja sellest tugevamana. Better? Paremana? Happier? Õnnelikumana? More faith? Ja mul on rohkem usku. More in love with my Jesus? Rohkem täis armastust oma Jumala vastu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Romans 8. This is one of my favorite verses in the entire book. Romans 8. See on minu terves raamatus, üks minu lemmik kirjakoht üldse. Verse 28. 28. Why is this one of my favorite ones? Because I have to use it all the time. Miks see on minu üks lemmik kirjakohti? See seda on vaja pidevalt kasustada. And it says, <laughs> verse Romans 8.28. Romans 8. 28. And we know that God causes everything to work for the good of those who love God and who are called according to his purpose for them. And me teame, et neile, kes Jumalat armastavad, laseb Jumal kõik tulla heaks, neile, kes on tema kavatuse kohaselt kutsutud. Oh, thank God for this promise. Oh, tänu Jumalale selle, selle, selle tõotuse eest. Thank God for this promise. Tänu Jumalale selle tõotuse eest. That he'll take your mess and make it be your message. Like one pastor said. Tema võtab sinu jama ja muuda seda sinu sõnumiks. Amen. He will take everything that you've screwed up. Tema võtab kõik selle, mis sina oled nässu keeranud. And he will help you to boldly tell about how good he is through that situation. Ja aitab sul julgelt rääkida selles, kui vägev on sinu Jumal läbi selle olukorra. And you can mess up uh, in, in a relationship. Ja sa võid nässu keerata mingi suhte. You can mess up financially. Sa võid finansiliselt mingi suure you, arvuse teha. You can mess up in the direction of your life. Sa võid oma elu suuna kuidagi valesti ajada. And I'm sure none of you mess up, but I have. Ja ma ei tea, kindlasti keegi teist pole midagi sellist teinud, aga mina olen küll. You know, we're in church, we're all perfect in church, right? Ma tean küll koguduses kõik, kes tulevad, on täiusel. But I want you to know your pastor's not perfect. Aga sinu pastor on pole täiuslik. And I've made some huge messes. Mina olen suure käkke kokku keeranud. And God says now you'll, you'll trust me. Ja, ja, ja Jumal ütleb, et kui sa usaldad mind. Even though you've been stupid here. Vaatamata sellele, et sa oled rumal olnud I'm siin. I'm going to turn this around for your good. Ma pööran selle ringi ja sinu kasuks. I'm going to make this be a blessing in your life. Ma muudan selle õnnistuseks sinu elus. I'm going to make this be a testimony. Muudan selle tunnistuseks sinu jaoks. Of my goodness and my faithfulness. Sellest uh, oma headusest ja oma ustavusest. And you will be able to tell the world. Ja sinna sa rääkida maailmale sellest. That God can do anything. Et Jumal suudab teha kõike. Amen. It's Amen. not about me, it's about him. Asi ei ole minus, asi on Jumalas. I can't do it, I try. Mina ei suuda seda teha, ma olen proovinud. He can do all things. Kui Jumal suudab teha kõike. And so I just want to do uh, my part in him. Ja mina tahan anda enda osa Jumalas. It doesn't mean I have to do all things. Ja see ei tähenda, ma pean kõike tegema. He'll do all things. Jumal teeb kõike. I trust he'll take care of it. Ma usun, et Jumal kannab hoolt minu eest. He'll take care of the church. Tema kannab koguduse eest hoolt. I just need to do my part. Mina pean lihtsalt anma enda osa. I used to stress about the church thinking it was my responsibility. Ma kunagi räägelt muretsin sellepärast, et kuule kogudus ja asjad, mina pean kõike tegema. You know how much I stress about our church now? Tead, kui palju ma nüüd muretsin koguduse pärast? Not at all. Põhimõtteliselt mitte üldsegi. I'm not worried at all. Ma ei ole üldse mures. 
Why? Nix. Oh, because we had a good year financially, Pastor. Also, you don't have to worry. Til os, der pastor Rebe, der you don't have to worry because the finances are flowing, so everything's good. No, hey. I'm talking about for years now. In the years where we were in minuses. And we still were able to pay our bills. How's that happen? I don't know. You need to go talk to our bookkeeper about how did this happen. We don't even know. It's just everything got paid in there. Hallelujah. Kui meil oli miinused, kuidas kõik arvetus said makstud. Because God said faith. Selle pärast, et Jumal on ustav. Amen. So I learned a long time ago, don't worry. Ja ma õppisin juba ammu selle selgeks, et ära muretse. Just trust me. Vaid usalda Jumalat. And now I think about my future and how, what I'm going to do when I retire and how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to do that. Ja nüüd, kui ma mõtlen oma tuleviku peale, et aga kui ma pean pensioni minema, mis siis saab? Ja? I want to find a palm tree somewhere and just relax. Kui iskilt leida mingis on palmi puu ja selle najal, najal siis puhata. And if that's the desire of my heart, Lord, how's that going to happen? Et Jumal, kui see on minu igatsusid, siis kuidas see peaks toimuma? You know, I don't stress about it. Tead, ma ei mureta selle pärast. If I find a palm tree or a snowbank, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Kas ma ei on mingis see palmi puu või lume panga, no vahet pole. You know, if I'm here somewhere else, I don't care. Olen ma siin, olen mujal vahet pole. I know God's in, in my life. Et Jumal on minu elus. He's going to help me. He's going to always take care of me. Ja tema aitab mind ja tema kanal alati hoolt minu eest. He's going to take every weird thing. He's going to turn it for his good. Ja tema võtab igasuguse veidruse ja muudab selle tema kasuks. And God can turn your defeat into a victory. Ja Jumal saab muuta sinu kaotuse võiduks. Amen. Hallelujah. How awesome is God? Kui vägev on Jumal. God can turn your mistake into something that you're proud of. Jumal saab muuta sinu vea milleks siis selliseks, mille, mille üle sa tunned uhkust. Because look what God can do. Sest vaata, mida Jumal saab teha. Oh, hallelujah. God hallelujah. is faithful. Jumal on God is faithful. Jumal on vägevalt ustav. And you need to give him that place in your life so that he can do it. Ja sul on vaja anda temale see koht oma elus, et ta saaks seda teha. And all that God wants you to do is trust him. Ja ainus, mida Jumal tahab, et sa teeksid, on see, et, ta, et sina usaldaksid teda. It's not about you being perfect, it's about you trusting him. Asi ei ole selles, et sina oleks kuidagi täiuslik, vaid et kas sina usaldad Jumala. Because you will make mistakes. Sest sa teed vigu. You're going to do stupid things financially. Sa saad tegema rumalad asju finantsides. You'll do stupid things in relationships. Sa saad teha rumalaid ja lolle asju suhetes. You'll do stupid put things in the direction of your life. And God is saying if you'll just trust me. Even when you make a wrong step, I'll use that to make you better. It doesn't mean that God is going to uh, give you Oh, I won't go that direction. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for stopping me. All right. Sometimes my mind goes before my mouth, and I'm sure, or my mouth goes before my mind. That's. All right, but, but God wants you to trust Him. That's my point. And He will make you better. He will help you to do what you could never do yourself. And once you realize it's him and not you. You're going to turn to him for whatever it is that he can do to help you. Once you realize it's, it's him that, that is the, the one who is, is the one who's guiding your life. Kui sa mõistad, et tema on see, kes juhib sinu elu. That he's the one who's your protection and your help. Tema on see, kes on, sin- kes on sinu aite ja kes on sinu kaitseja. You're going to go to him. Siis sa lähed tema juurde. And you're going to put on his armor. Ma olen selga tema hea varustuse. And you're going to make sure your trust is in him. Ja teek kindlaks, et sinu usaldus ja loodus on that tema peal. You're trusting in the armor that, that, that he, he equips you with ja and sa, not yourself. Ja et sa usaldad seda hea varustus, mis tema sulle annab, mitte, mitte seda, kes sina oled. Sometimes it's not the soldier that gets the victory, but it's the equipment that he has that gives him the victory. Ma ei ole mitte niimoodi, et sõdur on see, kes saab võidu, vaid, vaid tänu sellele varustusele, mis tal on, ta saab selle võidu. You know, it's when, the, you know, when somebody comes at you with a stick and then you show up and you're, you know, uh, a navy seal there's a big difference et et kui sina oled sa mingisuguse toikaga ja sinu vastu tuleb mingisugune eriüksuse sõjaväeline oma püssiga you know i think it's paul, paul could change some stuff it'd be like night vision goggles and all that stuff that they have now who knows ma kujutan ette kui seal räägib seal nendest sõjavarustusest <laughs> siis ma arvan et tänapäeval räägitakse ju igasugused piimedas nägemistest klappidest ja asjadest but my point is you can't do it Aga minu point on selles, et kui sina ei saa seda teha, you need help. Sul on vaja abi. You need some of the things that he supplies. Sul on vaja neid asju, mida Jumal varustab sulle. And when it comes to the armor of God, you can find that in Ephesians chapter 6. Ja mis mis puudutab Jumala sõja varustus, siis loe selle kohta kirjast Efesast tale 6. peal. Let me just read a part of what this armor is. <coughs> Ma loen lihtsalt väikse juppi sellest, mis mis selles varustuses on. A part of the armor of God that will help you for life. Üks osa sellest varustusest, mis mis aitab sind. And we've done a series before on the armor of God. It was really good. You can go back 
terve seeri on sellest, mil on Jumal saja varustus võid seda järgi kuulata. But in, in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16, he says, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, which is, which with it you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. <coughs> Kirja Efesitele 6. peade 16. sai mõtle, kõigepealt aga võtke kätte usu kilp, millega te võite kustutada kõik kurja põlevad nooled. That's awesome. See on väga minus. Amen. God is your protection. Jumal on sinu kaitse. God is how you will get the victory. Jumal on see viis, kuidas sina saad võidu. And it's through your faith that you put in him. Ja läbi oma usu, mis sina paned Jumalasse. And so he's not going to wake up and actually hand you a shield. Ja Jumal nüüd päriselt ei järjata sind hommikul üles, ei anna selle kilpi jätte. But he will put faith in you. Aga ta paneb usu sinu sisse. He'll put a promise in you. Paneb teotuse sinu sisse. That you can stand on and lean on and say, God, I trust you for this. Mille näja sa saad seista ja uskada, et Jumal, ma usun sinult seda. And as you trust him for that, it's like that shield that protects you from anything the devil tries ja to do. Ja kui sa usaldad Jumalat selles ja, ja hoias seda me- mõtteis, siis, siis sa nagu usu kilp, mis kaitseb sind saatana rünnad. And if you stand on his promise, ja kui sa seisad tema tootustel, by faith, usu läbi, you will win. Siis sa saad võidu. Say I win. Ütle, ma saan võidu. Ma saan võidu. You will win. Sa saad võidu. You will conquer. You will get the victory. Sina, uh, oh, sina sorry. oled võidukas. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> all the same word in Estonian because <laughs> you don't know how to say those things. No, I'm just yes, kidding. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. It's But, not me, it's God. No, that's right, yeah. <laughs> And so he, he's going to give us the victory. <laughs> he's going to give you the victory. <laughs> But, and, and this is the thing. You get the victory. <laughs> But it's not yours to brag about. Aga see ei ole midagi, millest sa saad nii-öelda ennast, endas nüüd kiidelda. He gave it to you. Sest Jumal on see, kes andis sulle It's võidu. your victory. Võid kuulub sulle. But he gave it to you. Aga Jumal andis sulle and selle. And you've got to remember that. Ja sul on vaja seda meeles pidada. And you've got to praise him for it. Ja sul on vaja kiit teha tänad Jumalat sellest. And you've got to be bold to tell others when they recognize it. Ja ole julge rääkima teistele sellest, kui nad küsivad selle kohta. Look how good God has been to me. Vaata, kui hea Jumal on olnud minu vastu. Amen. And that should be our testimony. Ja see peaks meie tunnistus. And then Colossians chapter 3, look at this. Ja Kirikurossas tale kolmas peal üks vaatame siit. I'm going to read verses 1 through verse 3. Ja tale esimese kolm salmi siit. I know I've read a lot of verses today. Ma tean täna on väga palju kirjakoht ilmunud. The word is just preaching the message all by itself. Aga Jumala sõna täna kuulutab ise ise ennast. Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven where Christ sits at a place of honor at God's right hand. Kolossas tale 3.1. Kui te nüüd koos Kristusega olete üle saratatud, siis otsige seda, mis on ülal, kus Kristus istub Jumala paremal käel. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Ready? Kas pole väga? Yeah, there you yeah. go. Freddy's like, yeah, that's awesome. No, no. Uh, this is where we need to look. This is my life. See, see on minu elu, millest siin räägib. Since you have been raised to new life, that's you. Kui te nüüd olete koos Kristusega üles saadatud, et siin nägib meist me ei oleme. That's you. Sa oled sina. You have been raised to new life in Christ. Sind on äratatud uude elu Kristusega. So now, let's put our thoughts on him. Et paneme nüüd oma mõtted tema peale. Because he's, he's at God's right hand. Sest tema on pare, Jumala paremal käel. He's not dead. Jeesus pole surnud. He is alive. Ta on elus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He is alive. He's coming soon. Ta on elus. Be ready. Ja ta tuleb varsti. <laughs> Ole valmis. In verse 2 it says this. Teises salmis ütleb niimoodi. And don't, don't just look at him. <clears throat> don't just look at him. Look at verse 2. Ja, vaadake teises salmi peale. Ja? Ära, ära vaata ainult temale. Don't, don't just look at him. Et ära lihtsalt vaata Jumala peale. Right, because that's what it says in verse 1. Et, ah, et mida yeah, yeah, siin ütleb esimest salmis, jah. Okay, so don't just look at him. Vaata, ära lihtsalt vaata Jumala peale. But now it says, and think on the things of heaven. Not the things of the earth. Et siin ütleb teises salmis, mõtelge sellele, mõtelge sellele, mis on ülal, mitte sellele, mis on maa peal. So we need to be thinking God's ways and, and thinking about God and not thinking about the mountains falling and crushing us. Et me peaksime mõtlema ka Jumalale, mitte ainult nendele mägedele, mis meie ümber varisevad ja langevad. Thinking about the giants that we're facing in life, thinking, how am I going to beat that one? Et me ei mõtle ainult nendele hiiglastele, kes meie elus on ja mis meil on, meil on üle, meil on vaja võitu saada. And look at verse 3, it reminds us who we are. Ja vaatame kolmandat salmi, siin tuletab meile meelde, kes me oleme. This life and your real life is hidden in Christ, our God. Sest te olete surnud ja teie elu on koos Kristusega Jumalas. My life is hidden in Christ. Minu elu on peidu Kristuses. My life is hidden in Christ. Minu elu on peidu Kristuses. I want your life to be hidden in Christ. Ma tahan, et sinu elu oleks peidu Kristuses. I want you to know that he is with you and he is over you and he is He's guarding you. Tahan, et sa teaks, et tema on sinuga, tema on sinu üle, tema kaitseb sind, tema vallub sind. He will give you the victory. Tema annab sulle võidu. Hallelujah. And I think there's been many times in our life that, that, that we've been tempted to take credit for the good. 
Ja ma usun, et on, on palju kordi, kus, kus me pole nii-öelda saanud võtta seda, nii-öelda rõhvustada selle hea üle. That you did something well and you think to yourself, meh. Et sa tegid midagi hästi ise. You know, something's, you got a victory in a situation of your life and et you think. Sa ei elus mingisuguse võidu ja mõtled, et... <laughs> See how I did that? <laughs> Nägi, kuidas see asi läks. Nii- you, you come through a difficult time and you're like... Tuleb mingist raskusest läbi ja mõtled... Yeah, boy! Yeah. You know, I got this! I can do... Ma sain võidu, ma suudan! I got the victory today! Ma sain täna võidu, on väga! Oh, I'm the man! Ma olen ikka tegija! And, and when I was young... <laughs> ja kui ma olin noor... I had to really guard against this. Siis ma pidin väga kõnjada, valvama selle vastu. Because I would... A lot of times God would do something amazing and I, I was like... Look at how... Look at how that happened. Look sest, how I did that. Sest, sest üsna tihti, kui ma olin noorem, siis, siis Jumal tegi midagi vägevat minu elus. Ma võtsin, et kas vaatak vägev ma olen? Nagu. Yeah. I come to Estonia and I'm a nobody and now I'm running a Bible school. Et ma tulen Eesti, ma ei ole mitte keegi ja nüüd ma olen mingi piiblikooli juhtus. I must be pretty special because who, would, who, who just does that? Ma vist ole mingi keegi väga eriline, sest no, vaata, kui sa asja käivad. No. You know, and then now God is blessing me financially. Ja ma olen õnnistud mingi finansiliselt. It's because ja. I'm so stinking smart. Et ma olen ikka vist... Ilgelt tark, and I'm so wise with my finances. Ja ma olen niivõrd kaval oma, oma finantsidega. And I wish everybody would just do what I do, because you would all be rich. Ja kui kõik teksid seda, mida mina teen, siis kõik oleksid rikkad. And I know so much stuff, and ja it's just amazing. Ja ma tean nii palju asju. And, and so there were so many times that I would catch myself ja thinking these things. Ja üsna tihti ma pidin ennast tagasi hoidma sellest, et ma, et ma nagu ei, ei, ei oleks selline. And then I remember where I was. Et si- ma pidingi meelde tuletama, et kus ma olin enne. When I'm in my office and I'm saying, God, what are we going to do? Et kui ma olin kontoris ja, ja ütlesin, et Jumal, mida me nüüd teeme? And then I'm in my office and saying, God, what am I going to say? Ja, ja siis ma olen kontoris ja ütlesin, Jumal, Jumal, mida ma nüüd ütlen? How am I going to teach for another week in a Bible school? God, help me! Jumal, kuidas ma peaksid veel midagi nädala aega piiblikoolis õpetama? Aita mind! And then I teach for 16 hours. Ja siis 16 tundi õpetan. And then I thought, pfff. Man, that was really good. Right? And, 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 and so I'm thinking, wait, no. I know who I am. I know that I'm, I'm nothing. I know that I know that I am not I know that I am not I know that I can't do this without him. I know that I am nothing. I know that I am not I know that I am not I know that I am not I know that Ja kui sul on ka, tekib ka seda kiusatust võtta seda au endale. Let me tell you, every time God does something good, every time there's a blessing in your life, you'll be tempted to take the credit. Las ma ütlen sulle, kui midagi hea toimub sinu elus, kui sa saad õnnistada mingilgi moel, sul on kiusatus võtta au endale. And you gotta stop and give the glory to God. Aga sul on vaja peatuda ja anda au Jumalale. Amen. You better stop and give the glory to God. <laughs> sul on vaja peatuda ja kiita Jumalat selle eest, et täna on Jumalat selle eest. Going through puberty, I think. Nähe puberteedist läbi. You got to stop and give the glory to God. Ja sul on vaja peatuda ja tänad Jumalad selle eest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God Minu Jumal is so good on nii hea that I am here today et ma olen täna siin with all that he has done in my life. Kõige sellega, mis tema on teinud minu elus. And I am nothing. Ja mina ei ole midagi. And I am weak. Ja mina olen ise ennesest nõrk. And I am, I am foolish. Ja ma olen ise ennesest rumal. But in all things aga kõiges he gives me the strength Kõiges, mida ma teen Jumalane pole tugevuse ja tarkuse ja selle võimekuse teha seda, mis iganes tema on minu ette pannud, et ma teeksin. Ja ära kunagi mõtle, et sina oled see, kes on teinud seda. Asi ei ole sinus, vaid asi on Jumalas. Hallelujah. 18 years of pastoring a church, I can't believe it. Kaheksa teist aastat kogudse pastor, ma ei suuda seda uskuda. I mean, this, this could be my child going away to university. That's how long I've been doing it. Ma olen seda nii kaua teinud, see võiks olla minu laps, kes läheb ülikooli nüüd. You know, that's just crazy to me. See on hullu meelne. It seems like we've been doing it for just a little short time. Tunne nagu mingi paar aastat oleks koguduse olnud siin. But it's been 18 years. Aga kaheksa teist aastat on möödunud. 18 years. Kaheksa teist aastat. God is faithful. Jumal on ustav. Amen. Amen. You can be here because God is faithful. Sa võid olla siin ka sellepärast, et Jumal on ustav. God has brought you to this place right now in your life Jumal on because God is faithful. Jumal on toonud siin siis ajasse paika sinu elus seda tõtta, et Jumal on ustav. And we just need to think about how big your God is. Meil on vaja mõelda selle peale, kui võrd suur ja vägev Jumal on. Look to God for your help. 
Vaata Jumala peale oma tervisesse suhtes. Don't think your success is based on your ability, your success is based upon him. Ära mõtle, et sinu edukus baseerub sinu tarkusel või teadmistel või sinu edukus baseerub Jumalas. In everything that he has given to you. Kõige selles, mis tema on sinule annud. And we overcome obstacles in life because of our faith in him. Ja me saame üle takistustes oma elu tänu sellele, et tema annab selle võimekuse üle saada. And our faith in his promises. Ja meie, meil on usk tema teotustes. And then we step out in faith and we fight. Ja siis me astume usus välja ja võitleme. And we do everything he asks us to do. Teeme kõike seda, mis tema vab alum meil teha. And we know that God is going to come through for us supernaturally. Ja me teame, et Jumal toob meid läbi olukordadest üle loomulikult. And go with me to 1 John chapter 4 and this will be the last place we turn to today. Lähme koos esimese Johannesi kirja 14. peatükki ja see on viimane koht, kuhu me läheme. 1 John chapter 4. Esimese Johannesi kirja 4. peatükki. I want to I want to remind you what you have in this fight. Ma tahan teile meelde tõetada, mis teile kuulub selles võitluses. For you to get a victory, it means you're going to have to fight. Selleks, et sa saaksid võidu, sul on vaja võidelda. Let me remind you what you have in the fight. Ja ma toetan sulle meelde, mis sulle kuulub selles võitluses. In verse 4 it says, and you dear children are from God and you've overcome them. Neljandas salmist, teie lapsed olete Jumalast ja olete nad ära võitnud. Because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Sest see, kes on teis, on suurem sellest, kes on maailmas. The one who is in you is greater than anything that Satan could try to do. See, kes on sinu sees, on suurem kui see, mida iganes, mida saatan võib teha. Should a Christian live a victorious life? Kas kristlane peaks elama võidukat elu? Absolutely. Absolutselt. Should a Christian be victorious in everything they do? Kas kristlane peaks olema võidukas kõiges, mis ta teeb? Absolutely. Absolutselt. I think the problem sometimes is in the past, the church has believed opposite of that. Ma usun, et probleemiks on see, et üsna tihti minevikus kristlased on vastu pidist mõelnud. The church believed that we should be humble and poor and have nothing and show the world how good God is in that. Kogudus on mõelnud, et me peame olema alandlikud ja vaesed ja... Have nothing. Ja meil tohiks olla mitte midagi. And show the world how good God is through that. Ja näitame, et kui hea Jumal on kõige selle läbi. And the world looked at that and said, we don't want that. Ja maailm maatas selle peale ütles, et me ei taha seda. I want to have a blessed life. Ma tahan, et meil oleks õnistatud elu. That's not the life I want you to have. I want to have. Et mina sellist elu ei taha. And I think God looked at that and said, no, no, church, you've missed it. That's not the life I want you to have. Ja ma usun, et Jumal vaatas kogud see peale ütles ka, et see ei ole see elu, mis mina tahan teile. You don't have to take a vow of poverty and of chastity and of all the other things they want to take vows for. Et ei pea kuidagi võtma mingisuse vande, et ma ei ole nüüd vaesuses kuidagi. Silence. Või vaikuses. We're just not going to talk. Me ei ole räägi mitte midagi. We're not going to have anything. Me ei kuulu mitte midagi. We're not going to do anything. Ja me ei tee mitte midagi. We're just going to give God the glory through God. Aga me anname Jumalal au selle läbi kuidagi. I think... We really missed it for our time. I'm so thankful that the revelation of God's word has come back to the church. That is not what we cannot do. That defines us. But it's what he can do through you that will define you. Ooh, now tweet that. That was good. Right? It's what he can do in you. That will define you. Don't you allow yourself to be stuck in a place where you're limiting who you are. And don't think that you could do it alone. Jesus won the victory for you. Walk in that victory. Jesus gives us the victory over those that are against us. Jesus is going to help you when you make mistakes. And he's going to turn all of that for your good. It doesn't mean the mistake was good. But he'll use that mistake to help you be stronger and wiser and better. Ja tema saab kasutada seda viga, mis sina tegid, et muuta sind tugevamaks, targemaks ja arukamaks. We know that the trials of life is what God uses to strengthen us. Ja me teame, et eluraskusi Jumal kasutab selleks, et teha meid tugevamaks. And like James said, Ja nagu Jakobus ütles. He said, you know, whenever you have a hard time, just be happy about it. Et kui sul on raskusi, siis ole õnnelik. Because you are going to be so strong when it's over. Show yourself faithful. And God will be faithful to you. Amen. Amen. We can do all things through Christ Jesus who gives us the strength. We get the victory 
through Christ Jesus. We can, we, we, the greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. Stand on these promises. Claim these promises for yourself. And know that the trials of life are here to, to make you better. You cannot win in life alone. But you can win in life through Jesus Christ, your Lord. You can win and get victory because He will help you. Let's look to Him, church. Let's look to Him for the next 18 years. Or for however long you walk on this planet. And let's live for him. Ja elame temale. No one he's going to be faithful to us. Teadas, tema on ustav meile. So how can we overcome? Ja kuidas me võime olla võidukad? How can I overcome past? Pastor, kuidas ma võin olla võidukas? You can. Sina ei saagi. <laughs> but you can with him. Aga sa võid koos temaga. Amen. Put him first. Pane Jumala esimesele kohale. Put him first. Pane tema esimesele kohale. You can't do it without Jesus. Sa ei suuda nii asju teha ilma temata. And this is going to be my testimony to the day I die. I couldn't have done it without him. I couldn't be here without him. Amen. Let's stand together. Let's just put our focus on him right now. Because he is all you need him to be. He is more than what you could ever dream. He's, he wants to be better to you than you've ever thought. He wants to bless you beyond anything that you ever wanted. So let's look to him. Let's look to him. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you so much for your church. I thank you for what you're doing in this place. I thank you for what has begun will continue to move forward and upward. Lord, we're so thankful that we can trust you in our weakness. We trust your grace. We trust your goodness. We trust your strength. We trust your protection. We trust you, Lord, to turn all of our mistakes into positive things. And we thank you, Jesus, for giving us the victory. Thank you that you've already defeated the devil for us. Now we just walk in what you've given us. We look to you every day. And we do our best to live for you. And I thank you that we can be victorious. Not in ourselves. But in you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For all the blessings. That belong to us. By faith in you. Let us be bold. To tell the world. Et, et how good you have been to Ui, us. Hea, Your blessings flow. Your victory flow. In this place today. In Jesus' name. Jesus no matter what we're facing. No matter what trials are being, 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 being uh, uh, pushed through right now. You are our help. Juma, sina oled meie, meie you abi. are our strength. Sina oled meie tugevus. We thank you. Ja me täname sind. We look to you, Lord. Ja me vaatame sinu peal. Help us. Aita meid. Help us. Aita meid. Help us, Lord Jesus. Aita meid, isande Jeesus. We thank you for it. Ja me täname sind selle eest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are thankful for it? Kui palju on tänulikud tema eest? Oh man, I'm so thankful for it. Ma ei nii tänulik kõige selle eest. Glory to God. And if you're going to get this help in life, let me just tell you. Nende, kui sa saad selle abi oma elus. You need Jesus. Siis tead selleks, sul on vaja Jeesust. If you're going to get help, you need Jesus. And I want to give you an opportunity today to make sure your life is in His hands. I want to make sure that nobody leaves here today without having an opportunity to put Jesus first. And what I want to do is I'm going to lead us in a prayer today. And I want to make sure that when we go home that we know that our lives are in 
in his hands. Me teame, et meie elud on tema kätes. That he is our help and our supply. Tema on meie aitaja ja tema on meie varustaja. And that our faith is in him and him alone. Ja meie usk on temas ja ainult temas. And he needs to become Lord. Ja tema peab saama isandaks meie elus. You can't call him Lord, Lord and then not do what he asks you to do. Sa ei saa kutsuda teda isandaks isandaks ja mitte teha seda, mida ta palus sul teha. We need to call him Lord. Meil on vaja kutsuda teda isandaks. And then we need to say now Lord, show me what to do. Meil on vaja ka öelda talle, et isand näita mulle, mida teha. Mina on pean tegema. Lead me and guide me. Juhi ja juhata mind. I make you number one in my life. Ma teen sinna esimeseks oma elus. Now use me. Nüüd kasuta mind. Use me Lord. And so what I want to do is I'm going to pray a prayer. I'm going to help you to pray a prayer. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to say it in English. Then Freddie's going to say it in Estonian. And then I want you all to pray that after, after we've said it. And so it'll be me, Freddie, you, me, Freddie, you, me, Freddie, you. Barry for the day, yeah, and he has it. And so, so what we want to do is we're going to pray this prayer. I got my ballum is a ballva, and I believe that as we do, there's going to be people in this place today. They're going to put their hearts and lives in Jesus's hands. Mõsen et kui me seda teeme, siis siin maigas on inimesi, kes panevad oma elu Jeesuse kätes. As we read earlier today, nagu me ka täna lugesime, God said, test me. I'm telling you, if you'll, if, you'll, if you'll try God, he will never disappoint you. Mina ütlen, kui sina paned Jumala proovile, siis ta kunagi ei valmista peetumast. Make this step. Be bold. And watch what God is going to do. So what I want to do is I encourage you to make Jesus your Lord right now. And so when what I'm going to do is we're going to pray this prayer and God is going to touch your heart and touch your life. Amen. And so let's pray this together. Heavenly Father, I come to you now in Jesus' name. Jesus who loves me. Jesus, kes armastab mind. And who gave himself for me. Ja kes andis ennast minu eest. And Jesus, I love you. Jesus, ma armastan sind. And I give myself to you. Ja ma annan ennast sinule. And I ask you right now. Ja ma palun sind just nüüd. To come into my heart. Tule minu, el- minu südamesse. <clears throat> come into my life. Tule minu ellu and make me new. Ja tee mind uueks. And by the blood of Jesus. Ja läbi Jeesuse vere. Cleanse me of all my sin. Puhasta mind kõikidest patudest. And fill me. Ja täida mind. With your love. Oma armastusega. With your joy. Oma rõõmuga. With your peace. Oma rahuga. With your Holy Spirit. Oma püha vaimuga. And with that assurance. Ja selle teadmisega that I am going to heaven and I will be with you forever and we thank you for it in Jesus name Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, I believe God's doing a work in your heart. He's doing a work in your life. All things can be new from this day forward. Amen. Let's put him first. Let's put him first. And, and, and if, if you made that choice today to, to receive Jesus as your Lord, I, I want you to, to let me know about it. You could send me a text or an email just by the information that's on the screen. But, but I, I want you just to say, Pastor, I made a decision for Jesus. What I want to do is I want to send you some information. I want to help you to understand what it is that is happening in your heart and in your life. And then I encourage you to keep coming back to church. Because we are here, not a bunch of perfect people. But we are here, a bunch of people that are trying to, to serve a perfect God. And we are trying to do our best to find out what it is that he's asked of us. And so I welcome you back again to be with us and to celebrate the Lord together with us. Hallelujah, because he is so amazing. Amen. You think this was good today, you, you, then you better wait till next week. <laughs>
Kui sa arvad, et täna oli hea, siis oota, kui nii järgmine nädal oled siin. I'm going to ask the worship team to come. I'm going to ask the worship team to come. We're going to sing a song before we, we go to the, the party time of the day. Me laulame veel ühe laulu enne, kui me läheme pidutsemisega edasi. Is, this the, is it 56? Is that the right time? Yes. All right. I'm doing pretty good then. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, today, again, is our 18th anniversary as a church. Taaskord meenutan täna meil siis 18. koguduse aastapäev. And so what we're going to do as soon as we dismiss after our song, pärast viimast ühistus laulu, we're going to have a time of just eating and 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 fellowship. Meil seal tagalauas saab süüa ja saab osalduses olla inimestega. And and uh, so we invite you to be part of that with us. Ja me kutsume, et sa oleksid osa sellest meiega. Everybody is here today that is here, you're welcome to join us. Nüüd kõik, kes täna siin on, te olete kõik tervetulnud. We've got more than enough for you. Meil on rohkem kui külaldaselt kõige jaoks. But uh, then after that, uh, I guess like maybe after everybody's eaten about 30 minutes or so. Nüüd nii, kui seal pool tundi, neljagi minutit, kui kõik on sõnud juba. We're going to come back to the front and we're going to be doing some different stuff and talking about some different things. Me tuleme siia ette poole natukene ja ja Teeme koos asju. And so uh, I just I just want you to know that that I am so thankful to be part of this church. Ja tead, ma lihtsalt tahan sulle teada anda, et mul on nii võrd hea meel, et ma saan olla osa selles kogudusest. And it's not just because I'm the pastor. Ja asi ei ole selles, et mina olen selle koguse pastor. And it's not just because I started this church. Ja mitte ka sellepärast, et mina oleks alustanud seda kogudust. Listen, I would come to this church even if I wasn't the pastor. Tead, isegi kui ma oleks pastor, ma käiks ikka siin koguses. I love you, I love, I love what God does in this place. Ma armastan teid, ma armastan seda, mida Jumal teeb siin selles paigas. I love the word that he gives us. Ma armastan seda sõna, mis ta annab meile. And so I love our church. Ja ma armastan seda kogudust. And our Lord Jesus Christ has been so faithful to us for eight years. Isand Jeesus Kristus on olnud ustav meile 18 aastat. And I am so glad that we can do this together. Ja mul on nii hea meel, et me saame seda kõiki teha ühes koos. I'm glad God called me here. Ma on tänulik sellest, et Jumal on kutsunud mind siia. I am so glad God called you here. Ma on nii tänulik sellest, et Jumal on kutsunud sind siia. And I believe we have so much more that we're going to see and be able to do together. Ma usun, et me saame nägema veel suuremaid asju ja vägemaid asju, mida Jumal teeb sind sellest paigas. And our future is going to be great. Ja meie tulevik saab olema väga. Hallelujah. But we cannot do it. Aga me ei saa neid asju teha. Alone. Üksinda. Right, but we can get it done. Aga me võime saa teha asju küll. Because he's going to show up and he's going to help us. Eest Jumal ilmutab ennast siin paigas ja annab meile tugevust. I better shut up or I'll keep preaching. Ma jään nüüd vaid, sest muidu ma jätkuvalt jutustan need asi. But I'm looking forward to the next 18 years together. Amen. Jään ootama järgmis 18 aastat siin kõudses. Hallelujah. Well, let's just lift up the Lord. Let's worship him today. Aga peastame ise ondat üles ja ülistame ühes koos teda. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Jumal annistu, kui siin ta ei tähe tulid. See you. 
Ja olgu meil üks pädahe osadusaeg ka ühes koos nüüd.